girls, my name is Ridley. Hello, boys and girls, my name is Ridley Lucario. And welcome to Prison Architect. No, I don't want a low campaign. I don't want to be in the neighborhoods. Oh, I guess some of stuff. Well, let's begin. We've been contract death row. We've been contracted to build an execution chamber at this prison in time for the scheduled execution of one of their inmates. All right, let's begin. story is even though I read it. We still don't get the memo of the story. So this is the tutorial. If you, if you want, you can request the tutorial to be. I might not be the same as the tutorial in the game. is everywhere. Alex is everywhere on the garbage. Things. There's... I see... I see Kyle's... This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We, we've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. Aye, Captain. We will also need an entrance to a new execution facility. Put a large jail door into the south wall. Whatever the fuck that means. It starts. Your workmen, also known as Kyles, are responsible for the construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundation and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead building new facilities. While we wait, Take a look around. This is the greatest view where the arrow leads to the house and go out within an hour. Maybe. You know, Dom, I'm, I'm a mouse. There's Kyle's everywhere. There's Kyle's everywhere around the facility that's being built. Inside the building, I want a cell in an execution room. Partition the space by constructing by constructing some brick walls. I'm I'm 16. I'm in high school, so I might make 
few mistakes on sand on sand words. All right. Wait. First. And there. There's gonna be more. Trust me. I've already done that. I'm just gonna skip that instruction. That's looking good. We need to designate rooms with those spaces. I've already done that, so we're not going to be reading up on that. Stop. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you can make. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. The cell itself could be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material, like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Like I said, I'm in high school, so... I'm still in school. Yes, I have to. Stupid law making kids go to school. Outside, you could add some lightning and a paved pathway, if you think it needs it. This is the man in question, Edward Romsey, a teacher once would you believe. A teacher killing people. Ever heard of a teacher killing people? Teacher. Yeah. No, not really. It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Well, that's what you get if you murder people. See, kids, do not murder. Once you are satisfied, the facility is ready. You can begin so, Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. So, we'll be doing this yet. I'm just gonna unlock some things. This isn't part of the thing, but it's. I'm just gonna do a wooden 
facility the entrance for the buildings. Sorry, I give credit to the other You gotta give credit to the We're gonna do news that's top. You're gonna have to like give credit to those people. Or else your YouTube account. Like I said before, I'm 16 years old in high school with a lot to do and ADD and Your thing. Hey. Oh, I give credit to whoever sang that. I'm gonna transform the dark. I'm gonna transform the dark into a classroom.
thing next to Edward's cell. It's gonna be awkward. I have autism and ADD, so I might get hyper. There we go. Sorry. video I think I'll I'll do my own tour for you guys just to see what the game is time to play the game. I'll start doing a tutorial series of Prison Architect. Well before spring break ends. Yeah. I live in Panama City Beach, Florida. So. Oh. I was born in America. I think. I turn really old or you need to pass away. I bet I'll pass away in America. My dream job is to like owning a prison like in real life. Hey, every every classroom has to have students. Or else how are the children supposed to learn? Speed this up, I'll add some more. I'll hire some more. Not too many. I still want to hire some armed guards. Not a staff room, not a classroom. don't deserve it.
All right, since the classroom's done. Sorry if there's a lot of plate. amount of time it's taken me the amount of time it's taken you to approve of things I could have knitted a jumper
can't fly no more. I'm not gonna do legal defense because that'll ruin the whole story. The, the campaign mode I've, I've noticed is that it's a story. No campaign mode is a story that takes place inside one prison, I think. That's my opinion. Yes. Yeah. 
this. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone-cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed when I hear his description of what he did. It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were on. I... The lights were already on. I knew she was home. There's no excuse for for murdering your wife and your husband. There's no excuse for murdering your wife just because she's having sex with another man. He exits the house, thinking the cops aren't gonna come. Clear as day, if you ask me. Deserves every bolt he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is, a, is no excuse for what he did. That's what I just said. And he went there the loaded gun knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that judgment? How is that judged? justice. Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Good work so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet, because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws. Yeah, I got it right. Which draws electricity from the national grid. As you can see, the entire wing of prison cells without is without power. All of the lights are out. To fix this problem, we need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are out without power. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover the swing of the prison.
stuff. Almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though.
Well done, I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. This world will not forgive you, but you will be with God soon. He will have a judgment.
my god, there's a survival wreckage. Christ on a church. Christ on a crutch. It's Don Palermo. Of all the inmates, it just had to be our mob boss. Bad news for him is that budget cuts have meant he had to sack all our permanent doctors. The good news is our infirmary is still usable. Hire a couple of doctors and they'll take care of non Palermo. We'll we sort this mess out. We need to clear up this mess. Use the bulldoze tool to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. We need to remove all the debris. Designate a garbage zone. Edges to the roof. Our workmen will. Our workmen, aka. Kyle's will dump the wreckage there for the garbage trucks of uh, garbage trucks to dispose of. Finally, you can send those firemen home now that they've done their job. I've added more details on each of these objectives into into your to-do list. Anytime you're unsure what to do. I like the objective, and you'll see additional instructions. Demolishing those buildings will take a while. You can pass the time more quickly by using the buttons under the clock. Good work! Let's check up on our casualty. This story's getting interesting. motherfuckers did this. No one did this to you, Poppy. It was an accident. I agree. Doesn't look like a man who Your stinking, shut your stinking mouth and listen good, the both of you. If I knew which one, if I knew which of you fucks started that fire, I'd snap your stinking neck. 
For my time is done. I'm going to die in this fucking bed. And there's a family business to run. The Palermo name is all we've got left. So you do the honorable thing, you dirty piece of shit fucks. Capiche? We know what to do, pops. This isn't over, Nico. This isn't over, Nico. This story is now getting interesting. Without food, these inmates will be tearing the walls down within a couple of days. We got to secure the prison before we end up with a riot on our hands. This is the deployment screen. From here, you can control the tactical deployment of your of all your guards. Deploy a spread of guards to a cell to all cell blocks and rooms and assign ten guards to this to stations around the prison. That should be a sufficient show of strength for now. I want a patrol around the inner courtyard where we will be building the new facilities. Anytime you, you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective and you'll see additional instructions. Oh. Sorry if I skip. if I skip some.
don't take them so long.
You would not believe what I've just been told. Our guys were dumping some of the old food stuffs they discovered packs of narcotics and bottles of alcohol hidden in the crates. We suspected the Parma family of smuggling into the facility for some time now, but we'd never been able to determine how. Some days it doesn't just rain. Don Victor Palermo, boss of one of the East Coast's most feared mob families. The Palermos polluted the FBI for decades. Anthony Palermo, Don's eldest son, a natural peer, and day-to-day -day operations. Nico Tomoretti wasn't a good man, but was welcome to the family business. He married Don's only daughter, Dahlia, and Sonny Palermo, Don's second son. Front of the litter. Kept a pit bull, only half as smart. Their empire ran on a products trade named to Florida. That was until Anthony got caught. Shot dead by a jealous husband. Unfortunately for the family, police at the scene found 12 kilos of uncut cocaine in Anthony's sports bag. <gasps> and the evidence led straight to the top. Overnight, everything the Palermo family had built up crumbled to the ground. The FBI had everything they needed to... Okay. Which leaves Vitalia, the Don's daughter, the only living member of the family who isn't behind bars. We don't know much about her other than she was always kept outside the family business. But somebody on the outside must have been some sending those drugs in. I'm guessing it was her. We could have quite a serious narcotics problem on our hands here, but we can't deal with that just with that yet. We've got our kitchen and canteen up and running. Our chefs will work on preparing food for everyone, which should cook to cool things down. I'm concerned that the fire was clearly deliberate. We don't want a repeat of that. Slowly sprinkle our system over the new kitchen and canteen and connect them to the water main. All prisoners have needs. Those needs directly impact how your prisoners behave. Right now, everyone is starving hungry, and that's what all the shouting has been about. Food is one of their highest priority needs, and you ignore it at your peril. A prison is just a few failed meals away from a wall-to-wall -wall riot. You can monitor the needs of all your prisoners from the needs report which you can normally access through the reports icon at, in the bottom right. This report shows the combined need of all your prisoners. Red means a lot of prisoners are angry about this particular need not being met. As you 
expect. Food is ne is read for virtually everyone, but these prisoners are also very bored. Recreation need. And the prisoner, I mean, and the prison is in a pretty shabby state, which is reflected in their environment and clothing needs. It's your decision as the resident prison architect, which needs you will try to attend to first. You could install televisions in their cells to keep them occupied and hire some janitors to clean up the place. To, to clean the place up. Or you can just ignore your prisoner's needs altogether and rely on force to keep your prison under control. I'll leave it up to you. We've had an incident in the showers. There's a body. Actually, there's two bodies. Luckily for us, we've got cameras in there. When you get a moment, click on the Polaroid in the showers and we'll take a look at what happened. Your time. Cut the bullshit. I never did know what the whore sister of mine saw in you. This her idea. Off the old man. Is that what you think, you fat fuck? I didn't need for him to get hurt. I love him like he's my only fa- like he's my own father. I'm sick of seeing this family brought down by your stupidity. Fire was meant for you. This, and consider this repaying the favor. Don't come the same. We both know you plan to take me out, so take me out one day. Yeah, you always were a smart guy to go. Look where it got you. Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Told you, watch your back. We met Frankie before. He's got a unique talent with piano wire. Yug. Honestly, by the time he's finished, they'll think it was suicide. Arr, he's unconscious. No, well, two bodies are unconscious. Never mind, one body's dead. Never mind, two bodies dead. Fantastic, looks like the Palmer the Palermo family is running out of members. And wow, I think you and I think the CEO turned into a lunatic. You can bet the Palermo were selling those narcotics onto every con here. The guards are telling me they've seen a lot of prisoners showing signs of withdrawal since the fire. 
I want you to search every prisoner and every cell. I bet we can find Palermo drugs all over the prison. To a shakedown. It's not as bad as it could have been, but there, there's definite problems with drug and alcohol dependency. We need to help these men. It's the only way of curbing their activities and dealing with their symptoms. Start a drug treatment program in the infirmary. Help to administer a chemical substance that will help alleviate the cravings and our addicts, or addicts, sorry. For the alcohols, the alcoholics, there isn't a chemical substance, so I ju just restart group therapy sessions. You will have to build a new common to run those meetings. Start new programs. Go to the ports on my the screen and programs. Anytime you, you're unsure what to do, I like the objective and you'll see additional instructions. Hello, Kyles. What's this? Hey, go back. Oh, whatever that is. I don't know what it is.
Very good. We've made a real difference here. I think the prison is back under control. We can stay and improve the prison further, or we can move on to the next facility. When you are ready to move on, click on the Polaroid in the infirmary. I guess this will be our last one for the day. Uh, this is the next chapter. Say goodbye. No, we could walk away now. You and me, this fucking life. It's taken everything. I like that. But I can't. I'm a papa. With you and outsider in this place, our enemies will walk right over this family. I can't have that. I have to show them a Palermo. Still sits on the throne. Not saying you're here to fucking whack me after all we've been through. Nico, Nico, Nico. You're old, so old school. No, sweetheart, I'm divorcing you. Are you kidding me? I'm a dead man without the family behind me. I know, sweetheart, but that's not my concern. I wish you to a better place, Poppy. Bye, Nico. Loading, loading, loading. There we go. Right at Alchemico State Prison, staff and security have withdrawn to the perimeter to wait for military assistance. Humble personnel are still recruiting company. CEO Charles Wolfs. Erupted following the arrest of several high profile judges. Alleged to have taken kickbacks in return for imposing harsher prison sentences. Douglas Benedict, currently serving a life term, is believed to be the ringleader behind the outbreak of violence. Adding fuel to the fire, sources say the criminal underworld has recently been brought by a series of high profile murders, including the attempted assassination of mob boss Victor Palermo last month. City Mayor Calvin Heller released this statement just a few moments ago. Old. Old. Question all seeds. This is how they attack me to subside. 
subsides. Charles Wallace, deputy and relative newcomer to the past, has been tasked with restoring order. It has yet to be seen whether the lack of experience will not prove costly during this difficult crisis. out of control here. Nobody is in charge. We've got multiple casualties and the remaining guards won't go into the variety cell blocks. We've had to pull back to the perimeter. Figure out what to do and put a stop to this rock to this before it gets out of hand. Riot police should be here in a few minutes. I don't want to ruin the story, but... Also got some paramedics from my state hospital. I suggest you use them to give emergency medical attention to your riot guards as they retake the prison.
think this chapter is going to be... I think this, this part of the story is going to be the last part of the story for now. story, I'll say something. Uh, this part of the story, I'll say something. Make you happy because I like you a lot. Get out, get out, get out. Get out. Okay, go for you. Can you put her where? Where? Okay. Alright, go for you. Sorry guys, that was my mom. I fucking need my mom, but I also need her at the same time. Anyways, enough about that. be right back.
sorry again. Folks, that was my mom. My mom's gonna be really annoying. Sorry, that's my dog.
Maybe later.
Jones and Jim. Deputy with whom I'm speaking. I appreciate this is a very difficult time. We are under intense security arrest. Assure you will have my full support in, in using any and all resources at your disposal. You gain a foothold to be taken some of the prison. And the loss of life so far is completely justifiable. But before you push on, you take the rest of Please secure the wings that you have captured. Arson guards, blah blah blah. also seen quite a few bodies for the sake of their needs to build more ditch lenses and start collecting them up. You'll need to hire workmen to do construction work. Be sure to keep them safe. There's a small security to the north of the canteen. We need to secure it. Deploy some guards in there to man the CCTV console. And we'll get a vision of the whole cell
has brought in some armed police from the nearby police station. Be careful with these guys, you might just end up in a bath on your hands with the police. On the other hand, prisoners may choose to surrender when they see these guys in the Let's take a look at the hostage situation. Last chance to walk out of here, boss man. Ever played two ball tag? Two bullets, more empty chambers. Used to play with this with jackrabbits. We blow their heads off. Well, we blow their heads clean off. But you'll you'll work just the same. Start with a simple question: What were you doing in that office? I swear I don't know anything. first. You don't need... What about this guy? <laughs> what do you know? Just like a jackrabbit. What was in those files? I swear I don't know. Looks running out. Look, like pull it in there somewhere. I know what I saw. I'm guessing there was more in those files than just my rap sheet. Please, please don't. We're getting shorter bullets. were just bending the rules. That file was the proof. What are we worth? What do you get to keep us inside? Seventy-three thousand dollars a year. Son of a bitch! It's time you, for you to start paying back.
more riot guards have arrived. And more riot out. Paramedics, as you need in the emergency toolbox. Oh my boxes.
is now. Wallace is joining us, and if I catch sight of Tails, you'll be scrapping pieces of him off the freeway. That's it. It's time to bring this situation to you. The team is all in position. None of us are getting out of here. It's not what they want. But talk. I did it for money. He did it for political gain. Political gain. I wonder if the sentence is more votes he got. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you talking They are more. I just want Those files were the evidence that could destroy his career. You, you are shitting me. You are shitting me. What the fuck? They're coming in. Get ready. I fucking warned you. is under control. Riders have been subdued. It could easily have turned out a lot worse. We got one hell of a cleanup operation ahead of us. I'd appreciate your help with that if you had time. We don't have any building contractors on site, so the first step will be to hire some new work to get to work parent place. I always thought security gear was much too lax. These inmates have been given too much free reign too long. That stops today. I want you to build us a new armory and deploy armed guards at key positions around the prison. The sight of that will subdue these prisoners and they'll think twice about causing this much trouble again. I'm also approving the funds to provide body armor to all guards on site. Our men need to be able to defend themselves. We've a few other requirements. There are a lot of prisoners who need to be taught the error of their ways, building new solitary confinement. Our guards will take care of moving inmates to solitary as Required. Solitary confinement gives inmates time to reflect on what they've done and reminds them who is in charge around here. There's a lot to do here. We really appreciate your help. Once you feel you've done enough, you are ready to move on. Click on the Polaroid by the front gates. Well, I think I'm done here. I'm not done. So, let's consider this part one of career mode. Before I go, I want to say that I really thank you. I really want to say thank you for, for being on YouTube and that I hope you have a good great day and, uh, and for my subscribers I really like you guys as friends you're, you're like children to me I like you all you all the YouTubers and just want to say thank you for watching Goodbye. Don't worry, part two will come probably tomorrow or somewhere before spring break.